everyone. My name's Kristen and you're watching The Dahlia Society. I've got brand new patterns for April to tell you all about. So many exciting patterns. I've also got a brand new make on that I've been dying to show you guys. I've had it done for about a week now. This was my Easter make. I want a brand new blouse or a dress. And I thought, you know, I had this beautiful uh, 80s abstract fabric that was the uh, lovely Italia Jupe Viscose. And I could just see a vision of something I wanted to wear, something that's kind of trans-seasonal that I can wear with jeans. And I straight away thought this would make a beautiful blouse up. I love its graphic print. It's uh, yeah, definitely something I would have worn back in the 80s, is this kind of um, geometric design. Just last month, the very exciting extension pack from Starlark was released. Now, if you've made the Hope dress before, uh, like myself, I've made two of them and love the pattern. I was very excited to see them release the extension pack. Uh, I do have these in the online store. I'll link them below. If you haven't uh, purchased it, it's well worth it. It gives you so many options. But this one, it doesn't include the Hope dress, so you need to actually purchase the Hope pattern uh, if you haven't got it as well. Um, the amount of versions it gives you is incredible. And I just thought, look, at the moment, I haven't really got a need for a lot of dresses. And I thought, I'll make the blouse or something different. Just a matter of cutting it off to the right length. Um, and I'll show you exactly what it is. This extension pack gives you so many different versions. You can choose uh, up to three different sleeves, three different bodices. And I've gone for the tie neck bodice. Um, you can see that how beautiful it would look in a dress. I think that gorgeous puff sleeve would be just amazing. I really love the other versions too. That crossover wrap, faux wrap front and the button front are really lovely too. But I thought I'm going to stick with the tie front because I love a lovely sort of open neck tie front blouse. But what I did is I used the original sleeve. I didn't have quite enough fabric to do that big puff sleeve. The different sleeves on them, the puff kind of pleated one is just incredible it's like a 3d effect there's also another puff sleeve that's a half sleeve with the um kind of cuff around where the elbow sits so i think you'd need quite a bit of fabric to do that nice big puffy sleeve so i decided just to do the regular hope dress sleeve that is on the regular pattern and i actually just widened it a tad and put the elastic around the bottom and i'm really happy with how it came up couple people say I didn't think of making a blouse with it because it's so easy to just make a blouse uh, from a dress pattern by just altering your length uh, and if you know you're happy with the fit of it uh, at least it will come up exactly how you want it so I'll put some pics up so you can see how my um, lovely hope extension blouse turned out in this gorgeous fabric so the Italia Jupe there's still a bit of this fabric left uh, I really love um, love that graphic print on a blouse I just think it suits jeans perfectly so mine was a size 14 um, and it's yeah, it's got plenty of room in it too so um, definitely want to think about making but I really am excited to try all the versions of that hope pack um, so it's so exciting to see um, Stylark bring out extension packs they've done it with their Montana which I love that too gives you heaps more options and I know they had a little um, a little survey going on Instagram one day asking you know what other extension packs that you know we as customers would like for their regular best-selling patterns so i think that'd be fantastic because it really does give you uh, more bang for your buck and also just more varieties of patterns that are tried and tested so um yeah really really happy with the style like um hope add-on uh, i've got a lot of uh, new style like patterns in store and they're selling really really well if you love a good multi-size pattern style like uh, being a great Aussie company they're from Melbourne here so it's it's always nice to get their patterns in and uh, make a nice big uh, catalogue for you guys to look through so I'm here today to talk all about brand new patterns for April now I'm sure it feels like yesterday that I just spoke about the March patterns this month has flown by heaps of stuff's been happening I've got lots to fill you in on and if you hang around till the end of this vlog I'm going to tell you all about a very exciting anniversary bespoke box uh, yes we've been on for one year now we've had bespoke boxes and the website been live for a whole year so we've got a really special anniversary box happening 
Uh, and if you want to be in the know for things like that, you're best to make sure you sign up to the newsletter and you get regular um, emails from me alerting you. Um, it's basically like being a VIP customer. It's so nice to make sure that you're first in the know for anything exciting happening in the store. So yeah, hang around to the end of the episode and I'm going to let you guys all know about what is in store there. So very exciting stuff. But before we get going on that, let's talk about new April patterns. There's been quite a few new releases this month that I don't want to miss out on because these are some of my most viewed uh, vlogs on YouTube. And I know you guys love that, getting that bit of inspiration. Even though we're in um, the Southern Hemisphere and our seasons are opposite to a lot of the pattern designers, um, you know, sometimes they'll bring out spring and summer collections and we're in the middle of winter, but it's still really nice to see. And I know through Christmas time and summer here, a lot of you guys in the Northern Hemisphere that have been shivering through the cold winter have loved to see the opposite things, um, me making you know, different things to inspire you for maybe what you'd like to make for summertime. Uh, in the middle of the year so a lot of people do sew a season ahead or two seasons ahead so it's a great way of giving yourself some inspo for that uh, so new patterns and of course the first couple are from southern hemisphere uh, pattern companies so that's really interesting and they do tend to do trend seasonal things that are fantastic so the first one is the sewing revival have got a brand new pattern or two patterns released this month one is called the flounce dress tank or shirt so you can do three different options you've got options for sleeveless mid sleeve and longer sleeve with a beautiful assuring sort of frilled wrist detail the size range on that is small to extra large but it's actually a 6 to 24 when you look at the measurements which is great um, I love the fact that you can do a beautiful drapey soft either a chiffon or a lightweight woven of viscose would be beautiful in this too. I think this would be a stunner and I remember watching Hayley from the Hay Meadow last week and she was mentioning she'd love to make this uh, as well. I think it'd be beautiful. Um, so really lovely detail that flounce around the neck. And a lot of people are doing shoulder flounces at the moment too. So flounces are really in. Um, but I think that neck detail, and I, I really love a V-neck. I think it's a very flattering shape to wear. Um, and I, I really, I think it's a, it's a beautiful pattern that she's done really nicely there. Hello, this is Kristen coming to you from the editing and I just realised I actually mentioned about Hayley from the Hay Meadow talking about that sewing revival pattern. And just this morning, I saw the lovely Deb from DB Designs put up a beautiful version of this blouse. So I'm going to pop it in so you guys can go and check it out. And don't forget to follow along with these ladies with their YouTube sites as well. Uh, the other pattern released from Sewing Revival is the Classic Pant and Short. This is a really handy classic, uh, classic style uh, angled pockets, straight or tapered leg, and just a nice, simple, classic pant. I think it's got the elastic around the back as well, which is a really comfortable design feature. So, yeah, it's great to see something you can mix and match. Those two new patterns, you can uh, wear them together as well. So uh, nice patterns there from Janine at the Sewing Revival. Another New Zealand pattern company that we all love is Forget Me Not Patterns. And Joe has released the very popular Helmy blouse that was featured in the Tauki magazine. And she had so much great response from it, she decided to release it as a new pattern in her store. I love the beautiful sort of dainty Peter Pan collar. You can wear it. There's birds everywhere. They're back again. The, you can wear it with just that simple Peter Pan collar and that little fastening at the front. Or if you want to add on the sleeve detail, there's a flounce feature. As well as that, there's the frill feature for the Peter Pan collar. So it depends on how how much you want to kind of glam it up or frill it up. Or if you want to keep it more simple. And I, I'll be making one of these. Um, I love this with a simple Peter Pan collar. It's got really nice shaping through the body as well. And it's so nice to see it in a plain fabric to see all the design features there as well. So she always does special little things with her patterns and makes them a bit more unique. Also, another great feature for this pattern release is that she's extended the sizing on this. So it's actually size 28 to size 56, which is fantastic. And I really applaud it. When pattern companies can extend their range, it just makes them so much more available to the wider range of sewers in the community that are looking to upsize. And, you know, I have, I have had people say to me um, before, in the past look 24 might seem extended to you but it's not when you're you know you're right on that cusp or you're over maybe do a 26 
six. A lot of pattern companies even do up to a 22. So it's so nice to see up to a size 30. And I know a lot of people are starting to extend their size ranges. Um, even though it's slowly done, I think it's great um, to see eventually this is the way things are heading because this is why a lot of um, sewists do sew their own clothes because they can't find things to fit them. They love in store and they would like to have that size range available. So um, that's a really exciting pattern from uh, Forget Me Not Patterns. A really exciting new pattern release that has just come out yesterday is the Donny shirt pattern from Friday Pattern Company. It is on sale at the moment. The Donny shirt is a boxy pull on top that's designed to be basically your workhorse in the wardrobe. It's a dartless um, kind of throw of a shirt with a lapel collar. It has uh, the option for patch pockets. It's a great everyday top. They say it can be worn with just about everything in your wardrobe. Um, and because it's boxy, it's a really easy fit. Um, the fabrics that have been suggested are things like wovens. Um, think of linens and rayons, viscose, lightweight cottons, cotton voils. Really good size range, of course. Friday Pattern Company, Chelsea always does a wonderful job um, curating her patterns. The size range is extra small, up to 7XL. The next pattern is a very popular uh, pattern that I think that most of you would have seen by now because they do do a really big launch when they have their patterns released, and that's the Tilly and the Buttons Mabel dress and blouse. That really fashionable th milkmaid kind of theme is coming in and where the, the around the neckline is drawn in with a cord or elasticated. Um, it's the sort of thing that really appeals to uh, a lot of different people. If you like um, that kind of frilly effect but you don't want flounces this could be what you're after um, it has got a really unusual a nice sort of, sort of rounded square neckline um, and I've loved it in the uh, blouse as well with the shearing around the middle so it does um, have quite a bit of shearing and I know that um, Tilly has got a bit of a tutorial online for how to do shearing as well so it's really great when you get, get taught that if you don't know how to do it it could be a great way to start um, the next pattern release, very exciting one. Of course, you will have seen my release, my pattern release from Pattern Emporium, and that is the Smitten Crop Jacket. And a lot of you had gone on to purchase that through my affiliate link, so thank you so much for doing that. I really uh, can't thank you enough. It does help support the channel. Um, as usual, Kate has got one of those great little classic patterns that you didn't really know you needed in the wardrobe until you've seen it. Uh, paired back with so many of her beautiful patterns a lot of the fit and flare dresses and pants go so well with this and also I've loved how Mel's worn up over a longer shirt so if you're not into the crop thing so much but you like to layer it it's so lovely with that longer line shirt and jeans and then the crop jacket so size 6 to 30 um, don't forget you can do different features on the waistline you can either do the elasticated gathered waistline or the simple boxy waistline and the sleeves you've got the option of doing the kind of billowy sleeve with the, with the elasticated wrist or you can do a, a simple cuff and button um, shirt sleeve style as well um, you've got the features there of doing regular or tall or um, crop, ultra cropped as well. So heaps of different versions there. It's great in lightweight fabrics as well as any um, kind of light to midweight woven. And remember when you're doing the sleeve that's going to be kind of billowy, the more draped the fabric has, the more soft it will appeal. Um, I would love to see it in a lightweight woolen as well. I think it would be beautiful. Um, but yeah, I, I'm just really excited um, to be making a couple of these for the wardrobe. And the linen viscose, I think, is just a perfect match for this pattern. The next new pattern release we have is from Muna and Broad. And Muna and Broad are, of course, designed exclusively for the curvy figure size ranges are from a to m and that's around about a size 14 to 30. They, they've come out with the a beautiful uh, column dress called the Alistra dress it's described as a body skimming dress like a long sleeve column dress uh, especially for larger bodies uh, so in the description there's actually a noted they've had a slight shaping you'll see around the back and around the waist area and it flares out uh, around the uh, butt and hip area which is fantastic if you're wanting that nice shaping but in all the right places. Another New Zealand patent company called Jennifer Lauren Handmade, she has released this brand new Emmy t-shirt which is a very creative looking style. You've got the options of plain or the slashed effect. This is perfect for the ultra creative sewers that wants to be doing mixing and matching with prints and planes. You have got the beautiful diagonal kind of feature across the front there. Uh, lovely knit pattern and a nice rounded neckline and a 
like a grown on star sleeve. The great thing with um, Jennifer Lauren Patterns is that she does have cup sizes, at, at, which is A to F. She has a regular size range and the curve range in this as well. So that grown on sleeve is a really nice little simple style t-shirt, but I also like it in the long sleeve as well. It might be a really nice design to make for heading into winter. So um, the next pattern release is a really lovely one. And I've actually, um, in two months, I, I might actually make one of these because I've seen the lovely Karina from Lifting Pins and Needles. She has featured this pattern on her channel. If you haven't watched it, head over and have a look. It's the Delta Shawl Collar Knit Dress. And also you can make the Peplum Style Top, which is what I think I might make. I love a good dressy top with a pair of jeans. Um, the delta, the shawl collar is just beautiful. But with the knit pattern, the thing that stands out for me is the, not just the shawl collar, which I love, it's the princess seams along the front and back. It just gives it such a beautiful shape and that wrap effect. Um, you can do it in sleeveless. So for those of you in the uh, Northern Hemisphere wanting to make some summer makes, sleeveless would be perfect or a long sleeve. Um, I've also seen it done sleeveless with a layered effect um, top underneath, which is beautiful. Great size range on Sinclair patterns as well. Um, I really love this. I think the fabric I'm thinking about in my store, the double brush poly, I've got the Gilded Age. I can see that so beautiful with a pair of maybe black knit ponty pants. That could be a really lovely outfit. I'm loving pants suits at the moment as well for glamming up. I think um, this type of shawl collar um, peplumy top is just so versatile and beautiful, but definitely in the dress that Karina made looks stunning on her. Now, Liesl and Co have released the Santa Rosa shirt style dress, a really lovely shirt or tunicky style top or dress. You can put a popper belt on with it. It's got a really nice, um, very simple, like Mandarin style collar. And um, you got the button front. Um, it has got the um, dolman style sleeve, which is really different. Kind of a loose grown on shoulder effect there, but a really lovely curved hem. I love a curved hem. It makes such a nice feature on a tunic style top or dress as well. So beautiful pattern from Liesl & Co. Now, I love um, it when a new style like pattern comes out and this one looks fantastic. It is actually separate, but you can buy them as a bundle at the moment. Uh, we're talking about this Celeste woven shirt that has a beautiful princess seeming panelling through the shirt and it kind of comes out like a fluted little bit of a peplum style, I would call it. But it looks like there's a, quite a bit of work in that shirt getting some beautiful shaping there. So we're just, um, the Celeste shirt um, the, is featuring panels, of course, with the beautiful inserts, a uh, shirt collar, long sleeves, and the gorgeous little slip through cuffs. I love the cuff detailing on this. Um, but what looks gorgeous is that they have actually styled it with um, the cord woven pants. So it's giving that old world Hollywood vintage vibes I really love the look of these pants with the darts around the waist, the really high waist. And I think it looks like they actually are um, a fly front, but they look really elegant and you don't notice a fly front the way it's styled with that high waist and all those darts um, and shaping around the uh, around the torso area. So I uh, absolutely love those. I love French patterns. I've got to say I have so much inspiration when I watch a lot of these ladies' channels. Both of these pattern companies, being French patterns, have got YouTube so along, which is just so exciting as well. I really love um, these new collections. It's so beautiful. Even though they're summer collections or spring, summer, I have lots of inspiration. I just love the way they style and the amount of work they put into their websites um, and they style the fabrics with them. They just look so beautiful and so inviting. The Apolline patterns have got the new latest collection, um, their spring collection. They've got quite a few new patterns. We've got the Lapalusa Dolce Vita dress. Size range on this is 32 to 48. Beautiful style cap sleeve dress with a fit and flare. And it has a really lovely belt sort of effect under the bust with a kind of a peekaboo cutout, which is really gorgeous. I love that on the, the dress itself. Button style uh, front skirt which is just so pretty. I'll put some pics up so you can see. The other thing I love on here, she's done in a gorgeous jacquard, is the Glencoe bomber jacket. And it's quite a dressy jacket the way that they've made it up in that beautiful jacquard fabric. 
but I think definitely you can make it in a more casual uh, fabric to tone it down a little bit. I love that kind of um, 60s aesthetic they've used there and the little popover jackets are just so practical and handy for all year round but great for when you have a strappy little dress or top that you want to layer over for a cooler evening. They've got the Alvisa knit dress, which is also just beautiful. Um, the one I love is the Kitri dress, which is uh, like a square neck style peasanty dress. Just beautiful. You've got a little layering style top called the Mahina top uh, and the Maui shorts. So a really lovely collection there for heading into um, spring and summer. Um, but really some gorgeous pieces there and just love the way they've all been styled. Now, Mason Fov patterns are really, really beautiful. They've bought out a brand new collection. It's the Poolside Collection, and I have actually been invited to become one of their stockers. So the lovely Emily and Julie have, um, have been emailing each other about stocking patterns here, and they are just such unique patterns. And, of course, Mason Fov, if you don't know what Mason Fov means, uh, Mason, of course, being house or house of, and Fov is a nod to the Impressionists, the early part of the 20th century, of course, the artist movements that use the brightest colours, most vivid colours, um, people like Matisse, for example. Um, the Fov really gets a nod to that when you see especially the colours they've used in their patterns and designs and also the beautiful pattern envelopes, which are just so, so gorgeous. That real art deco look as well. Um, they've got that gold touch on the patterns as well. So they're really, really beautiful. So we'll, we'll be stocking those um, heading on into the next couple of months. I'll be ordering some patterns from them. They are just such lovely people. Don't forget to head on over to Emily's channel, the Mason Fov channel on YouTube. It is all in French, but I've just um, been watching a lot of her YouTube videos lately talking about her new collection. And even though I can't understand a lot of French, or much French at all because I don't speak it, I find the inspiration you see just from listening and picking up on certain words and just seeing the inspiration behind collections I find that really fascinating and interesting because I um, love using themes and getting inspiration for boxes I love seeing where designers get their inspiration from and Emma Lewis is saying that her poolside collection is such a nod to the 60s kind of retro era of being by the poolside she's got a lot of references in her patterns as well that you'll see here so the um the Nage Libre jacket is the poolside jacket it's got a very very 60s appeal to it I absolutely love how they've done that feature with the different fabrics the, the cutout piece at the back or the, the insert piece in a different fabric that is a standout for me I would definitely consider making that jacket in a beautiful jacquard I think it's just such a beautiful pattern the hot vol which is uh high flight it's that air hostess kind of aesthetic that dress is a stunning one with a little cutout piece as well I love that dress I think it is just a unique beautiful simple design um the salto top is absolutely beautiful little square neck top with a button front I love that you can layer that with the little jacket as well beautiful combination there the thing I love is I love the look of the Tremplin pants, which is means springboard in French. It's a cargo style pant with beautiful elasticated and little um, tab feature details on it. The pockets, just the whole styling of that pant is just beautiful. And one of my daughters actually said to me, Mum, those, those pants are really awesome. I just said, yeah, they're really um, unusual. Um, cargo pants have been around for quite a while, but when you see them styled, um, that tapered leg with the heel, I just think it brings another whole element to, to a pair of me made pants. So really, really interesting design there. And the shorts, of course, the Grand Bane, which is Big Bath shorts, are uh, just such a lovely little tapered high-rise pair of um, fancy little shorts there. So uh, lovely collections there from the two uh, French companies. I would love to hear what you think about French patterns. Are you a fan? Uh, if you're like me and you kind of fangirl over the aesthetic and the whole inspiration behind it, I love to see that. And I love following both of these ladies' companies on Instagram as well. I do put a lot of... Uh, vision and footage out of behind the scenes with the foot uh, with the collections and how they've come up with inspiration so that whole um she's talking about Lana Del Rey and just different 
inspiration from singers and movies and um yeah just I, I would say the mood board aesthetic she's got together with that collection is just beautiful being seeing behind the designer's eye and yeah what gives them inspo on these collections is fascinating to me so um really love these whole new collections so that is it for new patterns for april let me tell you all about the new exciting birthday box now here at the dahlia society i will still be doing my normal monthly boxes which are of course like two and a half meters of fabric and all the goodies that go in um, along with the edible gifts the scented treats and the um, sewing gifts as well as a discount for patterns this box will be once a season we are having a special luxury or deluxe bespoke box every season so they'll be very very limited numbers because they will be each designer brand fabrics and I know that a lot of my customers love love the designer branded fabrics the boutique fabrics that I bring in store so this first box is a nod to being uh, one year on my website, one year in business, a special anniversary box. It will be a birthday themed box and the fabric designer will be the very, very popular Rachel Parker designs. There will be three metres in this box. So the box will be $139.95. The regular boxes I have are $79.95. So that will be just um, a step up. So if you want more of a luxury and branded fabric, I think you're going to love how these boxes are presented. They are a little bit more glam. These boxes, actual box themselves are going to be a bit different as well it's going to have the um, treats you'll still have your scented gift and your gourmet edible um, you'll have a sewing gift but these ones will not only have a beautiful designer brand fabric you'll also be having handmade buttons to complement the fabric which is really exciting um, so I just think it gives you guys that little bit of extra treat and if you sign up to the newsletter you will know exactly when these pre-orders will be out and I'll be um posting these boxes out um, heading on to the week after they've come out on pre-order so uh, I've done it this way because I think that I don't want to lose the uh, fantastic thing I've got going with the regular bespoke boxes and the numbers we're doing are really really great this is more of a very small drop of exclusive designer brand fabric that I think you're going to love and again we're going to have the theme each season as well which is really exciting because I think the theme ties everything in together um, I'm just really excited so the, the Rachel Parker birthday exclusive print here that is um, definitely one that you can't get here in Australia it is really exciting and there'll be two colorways we'll have um, a candy pink and a bluebell color so you'll get to choose the box that you want to um, pick from you get to choose the colour you want but there are limited numbers of each so once they're gone I can't get any more of that fabric they'll be very exclusive for you guys so very excited um so yeah I just think it's uh, a big thank you to a lot of you who have reached out and said you know can you do luxury boxes can you do more meter reach because I know a lot of you love to have the option to buy, buy three meters or three meters plus and uh yeah it just gives you guys a bit more to choose from there so very excited uh yeah so stay tuned for that I'll be talking more about that on future episodes and doing things like unboxings as well i'd love to hear what you enjoyed seeing out of that new pattern um, drop for april what was one of your favorite patterns there write in the comments below i always love to hear from you guys and i know a lot of people enjoy watching these episodes to get a uh, new pattern inspiration so it is a lovely day out here today it's 22 degrees so i but thought i'd better head out and film outside while i can take care everyone i hope you have a wonderful sewing week and we'll see you all very shortly bye for now Thank you.